Salutations. Whoa, we talked again, Tubby. We're anticipating a future in which we'll be building autonomous uh, robots and sending them out into the world. Uh, we'll be cohabiting uh, in some sense with these uh, um, technological creations. Maybe not Hitchbot, mind you. It was as rudimentary as they come, a beer bucket with a processor. We did decidedly go for what we call the yard sale aesthetic. Robots are here in our factories. It can blink, roll its eyes, sneeze. Training new dentists, even now our bedrooms. So the study of how humans and robots interact is a growing scientific pursuit. Hitchbot was part of that. Would people trust him or it or, well, whatever it is? Dozens did, taking him in their cars to bars, weddings, even baseball games. A novelty. And those cheap gloves for hands, all part of the charm. Humans respond better to robots that look like us, but only to a point. What we have in human-robot interaction is the effect that we call uncanny valley effect. And that means basically, if we create robots that are too human-like, people, as you said, freak out. There are no twins, we have a twins. Yeah. Like this, these are freaky. Geminoids, an exact copy of their makers. Check this one out singing. So the robots of the future aren't going to look exactly like us, but those we interact with most will likely look a bit like Hitchbot. The dog seems to think this is a little strange. Huh? Yeah. Huh? At UBC, they've worked on where robots should look, say when they hand over an object. People like eye contact, so that's what robots will do. When the robot doesn't use the right kind of communication cues or human-like communication cues, then uh, people tend to hesitate a little bit. People got used to Hitchbot and it was not perfect on purpose. Weakness, its creators now know, is essential to bridging a relationship with a human. We've created a robot that is a helpless robot and, and it really does tap into uh, people's sense of helpfulness and also their ability uh, to work their own social, social networks and their own uh, skill sets to uh, assist the robot along its way. Hey buddy, it was good to see you. Thanks for having us. Maybe you're doubting that humans can feel for robots. Well, when vandals bashed apart Hitchbot, thousands of people reacted, reaching out on social media, angry and upset. I'm ready for anything. What could possibly go wrong? But when you stop to think about how far it traveled, how many countries it crossed, Hitchbot has shown people and robots really can get along.